So there are amazing zoos all over the world, but none of them are quite like this place. This is Paradisa here in Belgium. And this isn't so much a zoo as it is an incredible and amazing experience. This has been rated the best zoo in Europe three times in a row, and this is a place you really have to see to believe. So there is so much to this zoo that this is gonna be a two-parter. So here in part one, we're gonna start our tour of the most incredible, amazing, and the best zoo right here in Europe. Alright, we're going into the Enchanted Kingdom of Animals. We've got our ticket. Uh huh, that's a ticket. So, this is a salmon crested cockatoo. He's actually using a stick to scratch his head. Okay, that is really funny. I do the same thing, buddy. And he's done with the stick and he just drops it. You come up to say hi, buddy? <laughs> Hello! Good to meet you. You actually speak English. That's amazing. Oh, do you have a treat for me? You have a little treat? Well, we have this thing in front of us, so I, you can't give it to me. I know. Well, I appreciate it anyway, buddy. All right, we got lots more animals to see. Good meeting you, buddy. So we haven't even taken four steps into this place, and already this is the most incredible zoo I've ever seen. Just the layout and the aesthetics of this place, but right over here are the birds, and we're gonna see those first. Look at this. This is just incredible. So I take it there's um, more birds in here, but we're gonna go in here. And oh my God, look at this already. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, <laughs> whoa, look at this. Look at those scarlet ibises over there and this brown duck. Look at this little ruddy duck, he looks so guilty. What did you do? What did you do? That is one guilty looking duck. All right, we're going into Tropicalia. Yeah. Oh good, now Sorry. I don't feel so bad for doing Sorry. that before. <laughs> Whoa! This is insane. Look at that, even the carp here are colorful. What do you think about those fish there? Carpe diem, that's what I always yeah, say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I say don't be coy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're moving on. Okay, look at this bird of paradise. Just totally hanging upside down here. Showing off his beautiful plumage. Getting a little uh, belly rub, foot rub. Look at that, that's so weird. So this is like a display that he uses to attract females, um, but it's kind of working on us. Is it working on you? Yeah, I'm yeah? feeling it, I'm feeling yeah. the vibe. Right, right, I am, I am strangely attracted to this bird right now. This is absolutely incredible. How many zoos do you know of where you can walk through a place like this with birds of paradise flying all around you? This is absolutely amazing. All right, Birds of Paradise, totally geeking out about that. We're moving on. Oh, we have a clouded leopard out here. Can we be in the same enclosure with them? But no, we can be in the same enclosure with bats. How absolutely amazing. Look at these guys. Everywhere in the world that I go where these are native, I always love seeing these up in the trees. Flying foxes are my favorite bats. These are just absolutely incredible, an absolutely incredible experience to be actually in the same enclosure as these guys. So these are Indian flying foxes, but you turn around and then there's this enclosure for the clouded leopard, which is right up there in his box. Oh, and over here we have gharials. So 
So leaving all of that coolness behind us, we come over here and this entire section of the zoo is all Asian themed. Look at that snow leopard sitting up there, sunning himself. But take a look at this enclosure. Look at how big this is. He's got plenty of places to hide, climb. He's even got this little creek going right through his enclosure, right into this pond. And over here, we have Japanese macaques. These are sometimes called snow monkeys. because They're not monkeys at all. These are macaques. And these are the ones that you often see sitting in their little jacuzzis in the middle of winter in Japan. These are those macaques. Oh, dude. He's okay, folks. Holy crap, look at this. This is the most amazing zoo I have ever been in. Do, do, you, do you concur, doctor? A thousand percent. Yeah. This is incredible. It feels like we're in China. Right. Literally. Right, I have to now. stop and think that we are actually in um, uh, Belgium. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm not sure, but I think we're getting closer to the pandas. Because there's pandas over there, and it says pandas are yonder. All right, I have a feeling this is the panda exhibit. Look at this, you go through this big cave here. I don't know why they have pandas in a cave, but they do, apparently. They do have pandas in a cave. Not what I would expect from a panda exhibit. Look at this crystal right here. Wow, look at that. The elusive cave panda. Very rare amongst the pandas to find one in a cave. And look at that one over there. And look at that, they've got all the bamboo they can eat. And that one is like challenge accepted. But look at this cave, this is so incredible. I mean, this is like the most incredible exhibit I've ever seen, right down to look at this. They've got amethyst crystals embedded in the cave <laughs> this is so cool look at that so you were telling me that this zoo is actually bred pandas and there were two babies yeah. and they were supposed to go back to china yeah but, but it seems with the covid there is a problem too. right so they couldn't ship them back yeah, because yeah. of covid so we have four so we have four now yeah wow all right so that was actually quite surprising and a little bit refreshing to be honest to see pandas in a cave exhibit not really the environment that you would expect to see pandas in. So that was actually pretty dang cool. And that cave design was so amazing. Man, again, this is the most incredible zoo I've ever toured anywhere in the world. And then when you leave the panda cave, look at this. They've got golden takins. Takins. Takin. Taken. Those are takins. And look at that little baby. Taken. Takin. Token. Taken. Ta Takin. Takendora, Wooden Takin, Golden Takin, Taken Takin, Takin. I don't know, there they are. All right, so look at this. This is an entire man made mountain, and you enter it through a cave over here, and this entire mountain is all for mountain gorillas. Are you guys just gonna talk ball pythons and not go in to see yeah, the gorillas? Both. All right, I'll let you know how we the gorillas, gorillas look. Yep, all right, fine. We're going into the cave. Whoa. So now we are inside the mountain. Look at this amazing enclosure for these gorillas. Wow, this is nicer than my entire condo. Oh, look at this guy. This, this is a big old silverback. That is a sleepy gorilla. There's the feet of the sleeping gorilla. I wanna go in there and tickle those feet just to see what would happen. I think the gorilla would think that it was funny and we would be lifelong friends. What do you think would happen if I go in there and tickle those feet? Comment below. All right, look at these lemurs. I feel like I'm back in Madagascar. But the coolest thing about this exhibit is look at this. 
we are in the enclosure with the lemurs. There's no net, it's just open air. They've got all these ropes and things for them to climb around, a little house for them over here, and then the people can just walk right through and the lemurs will be all around them. But apparently um, we're all gonna just hang out over here. This is literally like being back in Madagascar. We are just right next to these lemurs here. Hey, uh, Jean-Francois, yeah. what is this wood product that's here? <laughs> it's, it's cocoa. It, oh, yeah. oh yeah, you must be a distributor for the zoo. Yeah, could yeah. be, could be a yeah. possibility. Yeah. Well, the lemurs seem to love your product here. Yeah. All right, so leaving the lemurs, you come to this other mountain that has a couple of geese on top, but you go through here into another cave. All right, we're heading into the other gorilla enclosure in the cave. Look at this. Wow. And look at that. They even have cameras for their own gorilla only fans. This zoo thought of everything. And there's a sneak peek to the gorilla only fans. All right. So as we leave the gorilla mountain, we come in here to see the hippopotamus. Oh, look at him up there. The hippo is way over there. I'm six and a half feet tall, so I can get a shot of that hippo. But all these people can't really even see the hippo over there. That kind of bites. All right, but we can go upstairs here to see the hippo. But you know, so far we've seen a lot of really amazing things in this amazing zoo. Uh, where is the uh, cheeseburger exhibit? Oh, I know where it is. You know where it is, okay, good, good. Because we gotta go visit the cheeseburger exhibit here pretty soon. All right, so we're up on top of the hippo enclosure here. And there we go. There is the hippo. So you wouldn't know it by looking at it, but that is one of the most dangerous animals on the planet. That has killed more people in Africa than lions do. And that is how a hippo tells me he loves my YouTube channel. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tour of Paradisia. So like I mentioned, this is gonna be a two-part video just because I cannot show you how amazing this place is in just one video. So that video is coming up soon, so until the next adventure, love the planet, feed your animal obsession, and rattle on.